So let me ask you this question because I'm I'm trying to read these comments mm -hmm. as you're talking, and the, I saw a bunch that have okay. to do with Shane is the only man to rock Floyd. <laughs> And I know that's always a conversation. And I know when I, I've watched that highlight so many times, you're like the only guy that put him on ice skates. Yes. You hit him so hard. He, and he held on for you for dear life. Yes. And I know, listen, I know Floyd Mayweather is an incredible boxer. Yes. He knows what he's doing. But, man, you almost dropped him. And I hate the word almost because an athlete yes. you're like, Ah, almost. It's like horseshoes, huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, ah, damn, I almost got it. Um, yeah, you got to talk about guys. that. What was that What was that experience like? Because there's so much publicity that goes around Floyd Mayweather. And then you get in there and you do your thing and you rocked him. Like, what was the whole experience like? Well, you got you to gotta understand that, you know, Floyd is, when they say TBE, they say the best ever. I say he's the best in his era. True. Uh, he could be T TBE, but the best in his era. I wouldn't say the best ever because you can't really do that. Um, but at the same time, I think that Floyd, in his own way, at, his, at that time where they had the, the, the point system on stuff, kind of saved boxing in a way. And the reason why I say that is because he integrated the old school with the new school. And that's why the new school couldn't keep up with him because they, they, they didn't understand the old school. And he got the old school from Roger Mayweather, Jeff Mayweather, you know, and, 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 and Floyd, his father. So he's been, he grew up in a boxing family. So he did, he did do a lot of great things, even though he gained so much money, which, you know, he deserved because he did fight everybody. Yep. At, at you know at, at their times, um, I think Floyd is a magnificent fighter and a, and a great fighter, and the best in his era. Um, taking that fight when I hit him on the chin, you know, I was the older guy, so I I believed in my power. I think that at the time when I when I cracked Floyd with that shot, I don't think that he understood that I punched as hard as I did. So yes. he stayed in the pocket a little longer than usual. So he, he kind of gave himself, like, okay, I can take your shots. I can beat you on faster, but whatever. Then I hit him, boom, uh oh, you know, the, 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 the legend is true. It is true. You can't punch, you know, so I got I to gotta watch out. And then he got back on his bicycle. Um, it, was, it was a great feeling. You know, it was like, okay, in my mind, I thought, you know, it was the second round when I hit him. I said, oh, I'll give him a third round. But he proved to be a, a real great champion, a, a warrior, and mentally, like I said, he has the old school values and stuff like that. And, and yeah. he came victorious. So I take my hat to Floyd. He did a great job in that fight. Even though I, I'm the only one that rocked him and, not, and almost knocked him out. For sure. Um, he, he did do, he did do a, a great job of fighting that night, recovering and uh, very sharp. So I take my hat to Floyd. Absolutely. <laughs> I gotta say, everybody, every fighter has, not every fighter, but in boxing, I think like everyone has a neck, right? So you yeah. figure Sugar Ray Leonard had Hearns. They went to and war. Durant. I feel like yeah. your nemesis was always Oscar De La Hoya. Yes. Like, you yes. guys fought in amateurs. Yes. And you fought as pros. Yes. So what is that like? You're talking decades and decades and decades of, you're like, competing against each other that must be a crazy feeling and it must be motivating too because you know you always have somebody on your yeah. heels at all times well it was funny because in the beginning i was the one that was on top i was the, the one that everybody wanted to be in california um as a young kid growing up and then as we got older um he became the guy that everybody wanted to be in california so it's kind of like it was kind of like this like you know i was up and then he was up and i was up and he was up so it was, you know, at the, at the right time, we both reached our peak is we both, both fought. And it was a, a spectacular fight at the Step Center. And um, it showed that we both, in California, we had two great, great fighters, you know. Oscar won the gold medal. And, um, you know, I came up and from, from light to welter to, to, to conquer and, and win. Uh, even before then, the reason why I knew I can go up to, to Walter Wade and fight Oscars because 
when it was an amateur, I was actually the bigger fighter. I, I fought okay. 140. He fought 132 for the Olympics. I fought 140 to go to the Olympics. So we was actually in different weight classes, but I was actually bigger than him. It's only until we turned professional where he went from 130, 35, 40, 47, and I had to stay at 35 so that I can, um, you know, prove myself as being worthy of, of being a great fighter. <laughs> uh, you know, that makes a lot of sense. How about yeah. this? I'm going to ask one more question about while you were fighting. Actually, no, at, at, at the end of your fighting career, are there any, like, regrets? Is there anything where you say, man, I wish I did this, I wish I did that? Because I know I have them for sure. Yeah. Um, not to put you on the spot, but it's got to well, be something that's just in the back of your head, like, man, I want to run that back. Well, you know, as I'm, as I'm doing, like, a lot of yoga and stuff like that, I'm feeling my flexibility, and I'm actually feeling pretty good right now as we speak as far as just moving around, throwing punches. I'm like, wow, if I would have been a little bit more flexible later on in my career, maybe I would have had a little uh, longevity. If I wouldn't have, you know, went and got a surgery on my arm uh, to, you know, to, stri to straighten out, maybe I would have had a little bit longer to fight. You know, maybe my yes. career wouldn't end it so quickly. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's different regrets, but I mean, as far as, you know, winning and losing, you know, when I lost a Vernon or whatever, these are all growing pains, you know, you know, with it, this is all growing pains. So, Very true. so it's yeah, kind of like, say. it's kind of like, you know, it's, it, it's growing pains and, you know, like, I, I don't feel that me losing was uh, was a loss. I believe that that was something to, to show me that I need to work on different things or I need to handle different things a certain way, you know? For sure. And it, it's funny, when you say that, it's a good segue into nothing I want to talk about. I feel like as we get older, our mindset changes, right? You know, train smarter, not harder. And yeah. I feel like for you back in the day, you were just a savage in the ring. And the shame that I know now, you're mm. all about manifestation, energy in the universe, like I am as well. Yeah. So you have a different mindset. So I never asked you this question. How do you think your career would have changed or if it would have been any different if your mentality was now what it was then? So if you were able to manifest, because back in the day, you weren't about the universe and manifestation as far as karma. What if you had took that and put it into your training now or, or you know, training back then? You know what's interesting is that – And I not to cut you off, but – not to yeah. cut you off, I'm sorry. Because you always believed in yourself. You always walked in the ring and said, I'm going to smash this. But it was a different mindset. Your mindset is different now. It's still just as confident, but it's a different kind of manifestation. Well, I think it's, it's different because it's like me knowing about, you know, the meditation and ma and manifesting and, you know, the breath work and all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, froze. Because, you know, I, I knew about it. It was just something that, that happened. Yeah, um, I was sitting back. I would sit back in the ring and I would think about certain things. I'll visualize about how I was going to set the shots, how I was going to move. I would, you know, I would stretch a little bit and I would do things that I know now what they are. So I wouldn't say that me knowing knowing this would it would have made things differently, but. You know, I I I, uh, I I was pretty I was I was pretty knowledgeable back then, but not knowing what the terminology was, if you will. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Kind of ahead of your time, like you knew. It's so funny because that time I'm gonna give a shout out to Bryant. You know, we're yeah, talking Bryant. about that time. Oh, yeah, he, yeah. Him Bryant. and Calvin came over to your house and did a podcast. I yes. still remember when Bryant came in and we were doing our podcast. <laughs> in my mind, I was like, man, like he was kind of different. Like, uh -huh. he was just, like, very quiet, didn't say mm -hmm. much, very observant. And I was like, man, why is he even here? And I remember yeah. when it was over and they left, you said to me, you said, 
that dude knows something. <laughs> yeah. You oh, know, yes. so like I, you're such a very aware person. So I yes. think the ability for you to manifest is, is very easy for you. Yeah, yeah, I think that, um, you know, feeling the energy, feeling this energy, yeah. feeling the energy around me. And I think, you know, as a fighter, you have to feel the person's energy. You know, yeah, you have to know yeah. what he's about, you know, you have to know if he's, if he, how he's feeling. He's feeling angry, if he's feeling happy, sad, scared, whatever. So you know how to go in and attack. So I was very good at um, feeling energy when he walked through the room. And um, it was a positive energy. And it's, you know, and I see Brian even comes by today. Sometimes yeah. we, we meditate and do breath work and do different things. So. I'm happy to um, have them still in my life.